Hey Virgo, welcome to June 2020. This is an eventful month full of optimism and enthusiasm. Immerse yourself in it. You have tackled and transformed the ingrained limitations. You're tasting the joy of liberation. You've earned it. This is a month for you to think less, less analyzing and more intuiting. Follow your instincts. Duty and obligation are being replaced with freedom and openness. It's an opportunity to fully engage in your own life. And this is exciting. Now, the Sun is going to couple with Venus on June 3rd. And this is a very creative energy. And it can be very helpful in this area of your career, your work, your destiny in the world, your profession. And it's very exciting. So we've got some really good energy in here in June and certain days that really stand out. Now the North Node enters Gemini on June 4th as well. And this is in the area of your profession, your destiny in the world, your career legacy. And this is very exciting. Your purpose in the world. So even if you're retired, you still have a purpose in the world. And Gemini is highly activated here in June in this area of your chart. Then on June 5th, we have the Sagittarius lunar eclipse. This is the first eclipse in three eclipses that we're about to have. One on June 5th, and then... The, the final Cancer solar eclipse on June 21st, and then the final Capricorn lunar eclipse on July 5th. So this is a time where we're in eclipse season now. Eclipses, open doors, and complete things in our life. And this is in the area of your foundation. Sagittarius rules the home for you and your foundation. It is being T-squared exactly by Mars <laughs> in Pisces. So the key for all of us, and fortunately for you being the Virgo, it's about staying flexible and adaptable. And whenever Neptune is involved, we know it's about spirituality, intuition, using your intuition rather than the logical overthinking. So practice that this month about being intuitive and instinctual rather than so brainy in the thinking, 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 logical. Not going to work well this month here in June. Intuition, absolutely. Instincts, totally. And it's a good way to navigate this. Now this is a really spiritual energy in the area of relationships for you too. So for some of you it can be about a spiritual partner and you know a soulmate. One of the tests in here for those of you that are coupled but even those of, for you that are open for a new relationship, the, the message is to focus on what you think is a healthy relationship and make the needed changes to achieve it. So whether you're in a relationship or you're waiting for your soulmate to come in, what is a healthy relationship for you? And of course it starts with self. So when you're healthy with you, you can be healthy with others. When you're compassionate with you, you can be compassionate with others. When you're kind to you, we can be kind to others. So focus on what you think a healthy relationship is 
and then you can practice it in your life. The Sun will exactly square Neptune on the 11th and Mars will exactly conjunct Neptune on the 13th. So that is definitely, you might be sleeping more, dreaming more. It's a time to chill out and not be pushing, not really listening to your intuition, really listening to your instincts. Don't be in a hurry for anything. Because we're in the eclipse season now and Venus goes direct on the 25th and Mercury goes retrograde on June 18th. June 18th through July 12th in Cancer. So this is a time to be open to new things. However, we want to be careful at what we're doing and taking action with so that we have all the facts. One of the challenges with Mercury retrograde is we don't always have all the information. So it's kind of hard to make really good choices. However, if you're listening to your intuition and your instincts, you'll be fine because Mercury is in Cancer, another water sign. And the water signs are extremely intuitive, very intuitive and psychic. So it's an opportunity for you to revisit your goals, to think about where you want to be once everything goes direct starting in the middle of July, July 12th, everything starts to really move forward here in 2020. Venus will be direct, Mars is direct, Mercury is direct. And so we have this wide window of opportunity until Mars goes retrograde September 9th. And so this is a time to really, for all of us, but especially you because Mercury is your avatar, is your ruling planet, listen to your feelings. Listen to your emotional needs and your intuition and what's coming through. Now the Sun is going to couple with the North Node on June 19th. That's going to give you, and that could be even this eventful month that is just shaping up for you in a very positive way into your destiny in the world. Now, you know, given what's been going on in, in 2020 and with the Saturn-Pluto coupling together and of course Jupiter joined the party, Saturn and Pluto coupling together is a giant reset of our life. The universe is asking all of us to reset our lives, recalibrate our lives. So even if you're doing what you were doing last year, you're going to be doing it differently now. For those of you that have been pushed out of a job, you may not go back to that job. You may be moving on to something new. The key with this energy is to stay flexible. Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, Sagittarius, you are the mutable signs of the zodiac. And I think that is the most strongest component any of us can have, given what has been going on with the astrology and what's going on in the world. Being mutable, being adaptable, being flexible is the key to thriving in this energy because if we're too fixed, we can break. But if we're mutable and we're adaptable, we can roll with it and seize the opportunities as they emerge. Pay attention to June 19th because you'll be getting an insight into your future, your destiny in the world and what this North Node in Gemini now means for you, which is very significant. And then the Sun enters Cancer on the 20th, and we have Summer and Winter Solstice on the 20th. Now this is another power day where the universe is downloading the new vibration into our atom cells and electrons, raising us up. So it's a very sacred day. It's an opportunity to be out in nature, meditate, do something where you're communing with your soul, your higher self, and with nature because there's messages coming through for you. And it's very exciting. 
Then we have the cancer, the final cancer solar eclipse on June 21st, and it's Happy Father's Day here in the States. Just want to give a shout out to all the dads. You guys so deserve it. Do something really nice for yourself. It is exciting how Dad's Day, Father's Day falls on usually, you know, summer solstice. So make your favorite cookout, do whatever you love to do that's, you know, watch the foot, no, there's no football, there's no sports, ah! whatever you love to do, get out and do it, and have fun too. It's so weird this world we're living in now, because everything that we normally do to celebrate life has been changed, but it's temporary. Okay, so the Cancer Solar Eclipse, now we're in the water quadrant, and it's in a great part of your chart because cancer rules the money you make from the business you own to the money you make from the company you work for, your goals, your friends, your hopes and wishes, the love you receive from others, being lucky. And this is being highlighted here for you. And that's why the message in here is to not be so logical and analytical, but really intuitive and instinctual. Because that's the best way to navigate this energy. And Mars is sextile Jupiter, which is awesome. And that gives motivation, that gives energy. He is challenging the new moon. It's not a T-square though. And it's, it's more about energizing the, the Cancer solar eclipse. So there's a lot of energy here in June. A lot of positive energy and this feeling of new beginnings, new start. Conjunctions are always new beginnings. New moons are always new beginnings. So we do have this energy of things starting, things beginning anew. And if we're navigating the Mercury retrograde, which happens June 18th through the July 12th. <laughs> oh. You can use it to improve your life through intuition, through instinct rather than logic. Logic may not be strong at this time because we're in this emotional energy and it's very watery with Mars and Pisces. So it's an opportunity to be compassionate with yourself, be compassionate with others, and look at what feeds you emotionally, spiritually, physically. Eclipses can also complete things too. So, you know, so you know, for some of you, maybe you're thinking about moving. You know, for some of you, you're ready to move into something new. And that is totally appropriate. And we can't always wait for Mercury to be direct because he retrogrades so much of the year. So we can't stop business and, and moving or whatever else we need to do. As long as we're listening and paying attention to our intuition, we will be guided to the right place, the right job, the right business opportunity. Venus stations direct on June 25th. Yay! So now Venus is going to start to fly forward. This is really good news and she is blessing you, Virgo, because she is in this area of your reputation in the world, your profession in the world, your legacy, and she's now moving forward. So she's going to be activating so much in your chart that it's really good news. And it's going to lift your spirit and empower you to feel good and feel better. And that's good news. Then Mars enters Aries on the 27th, and that's good news because he rules Aries. He doesn't know what he's doing at Pisces. <laughs> am I coming or am I going? He doesn't know. But when he moves into Aries, the sign he rules, he is thrilled, and that's good news. So he's moving forward in the sign that he rules, and that's positive energy. Now, Jupiter is going to couple with Pluto on June 30th. He coupled on April 4th. 
Now he's coupling again on the 30th because he's retrograde, so he's passing back over Pluto. And the final one will be on November 12th. This is good news because this is blessings and opportunity. And Mars, you know, was part of the gang uh, on June 20th, June 21st, June 22nd. And this is excellent energy for lifting your spirit, motivating you, energizing you to take action, working well with others, whether it's your team, your colleagues, your clients, your customers, your family, your partner, and so on, but, but working really well with others. And this is an energy that is blessing you. So it is in the area of creative self-expression. And it is absolutely a creative month for you, really tapping into your creative juices. The sun will couple with Mercury on the 30th. Pay attention to the 30th because you're getting cosmic messages that day too. And this could be in regards to your money, money you make from the business you own or the money you make from the company you work for, and as well as ideas, ideas for new business, new job opportunities. So the universe is working overtime to provide you with insight, understanding, answers. The key is to stay out of your head and into your heart where you are listening and absorbing the information from your heart center rather than just the, the mental, logical part of you, which is so exciting. Now, for those of you open for love, available for love, there is a lot of energy in here for you that is inviting and can create opportunity for new relationship, whether that person meets you on the internet or um, you bump into each other in the community. Stay open because anything can happen and you're feeling good and you're optimistic and you have a lot of positive energy so that means you're going to draw in people that are positive too and that are good for you your goal is to focus on what is healthy for those of you coupled you know if there's been challenges lately um, arguments or frustration focus on what is healthy what a healthy relationship is for you and that way you can practice it with your partner and with others and manifest it in your life. Career looks great. Your career is getting stronger and you know for those of you that have been pushed out of your job you know be open to new work opportunities. Be open to even doing something different. Be open to what is being offered to you now. And of course, any new skills that you can be working on while you are waiting for your new job or work opportunity. You know, like learning technology, learning how to use the internet. Any way that you can use the technology to increase your skills will put money in your pocket. So that's a good place to focus while we wait for the eclipses to finish and Mercury to go direct July 12th. Money looks good. There, there's money coming to you. There's more money coming your way. It's a matter of being receptive to the prosperity that you're manifesting in your life at this time. How is your health? Saturn is in that area and he loves to test wherever he is. <laughs> so make sure you're taking good care of yourself. I have a free program, the Extreme Self Care audio program. Just sign up for my email at my website and you can get that program. It's there to help you with your health and improve your health because our wealth is in our health. The better we feel, the more we can achieve. The stronger we are, the more we can accomplish. Spiritually, 
this is a super spiritual time. It's very spiritual. There's cosmic days in here, and the message for all of us, and especially for you, is to be listening to your intuition and trusting your instincts. And that's Creator talking directly to you. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, favoring, and sharing my videos. Virgo, you are amazing. And thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It helps to support the channel, and it lets you know when I upload. So until next time, Virgo, it is an eventful month full of optimism and enthusiasm. Yay! <laughs> I'm sure you're ready for that.